Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm Tom Booker, Senior Instructor. For our honor students, this is your B lesson for this week on your bow skills. During this lesson, we'll be working with ski come, the two-hand thrust. We'll continue our work with one step number four. And with your bow kata, shushi no kong sho, we'll be working with the final section. We've been working this by the count, proper technique, power, and focus. Let's get into our lesson together. Thank you for joining me. This is ski kome, the two-hand thrust that we've been working with. Now let's have a look at this from straight on. I'm starting right side forward in Kidari no Kamai, the bow resting on my left hip. I'm being careful not to float the bow out away from my body this way. With ski kome, we're being careful to keep three points of contact with the bow. And you notice from and on here, basically what an opponent can see is just the tip of the bow. It's a bit hard for them to judge my distance away from them. Now we're going to start the movement with our feet, just a gentle shuffle step forward, Hands come out and through like that. I'm sliding it against my hip. And shuffle step forward and extend. If this is not Nagashi Ski where the bow slides through my hands, my hands maintain their grip throughout. Shuffle step forward and extend. Now let's have a look at this from the side. Because there are things about this that show up better from the side, even though we're doing business out in front. Again, I'm starting with my feet. My feet move, and then my hands finish the movement at the end. I'm just moving forward a few inches. I'm getting a bit extra reach here. But also, as I shift my body in behind this, I'm getting a bit of extra power as well. I want to be careful that I'm not overextending the thrust that way. That just puts me off balance. And it takes away from my power, it takes away from my accuracy, puts me in this incredibly vulnerable position. An opponent, if I'm doing this sort of thing, they're going to take my stick away from me. They're going to hit me with it. And I deserve that for handling the bow this way. To get close, I don't want to lean forward. I want to use my feet that way. The movement of the arms is very, very small. And here. It's a very different movement from Nagashi Ski. Now, to get a little accuracy on this, we're going to continue putting this through the middle of an agility cut. Just because I'm going, if I could have your help with this. I think if you just hold it out that way. Now from Hidari no Kamai, the right side forward fighting stance. Take it slowly at first. Focus on the hole in the middle of the cone. Feet then hands and just pass it through, just like threading a needle. Feet, hands, and through. Feet, hands, and through. Gradually go a little bit faster. But keep in mind what I'm doing here is really a movement of my entire body. It's not a movement of my hands. So the challenges in aiming this are different than they are for Nagashi Ski. Now, if that's going real well, instead of getting smug, turn the cone over. This is a bit more of a challenge. If I'm a little bit off here, 
I'll just skip off. So again, work on really focusing your attention on that hole in the center and thread the needle. Feet and then hands. And back. Feet and then hands. Feet and then hands. It's actually a lot of fun, but it's it can be a bit of a challenge. Thank you, Mr. Tesselkoff. Would you get the board, please? All right. Yeah. We're going to have uh, your helpers put the board there against their midsection. We're going to work a bit with this thrust as a push rather than a strike. So what I am not going to do is charge in and jam it in real, real hard. Even through this board, that's going to damage my partner. I'm going to start from a little closer in with the tip of the bow resting in the middle of the board. I'm going to move my feet, then move my hands, and I'm using my body mass to push with. I'm pushing an opponent away. Yeah, feet, hands, and push. Yeah, touch with the bow. Feet, hands, and push. Say one more time. Here, feet, hands, and push. Everything works together. Thank you, Mr. Bissell. Whether you're taking it slowly in a push, or you're going more quickly in a striking motion, this potentially has a lot of power because you're shifting your body mass in behind it. But you want to be able to keep control over this. I'm keeping that bow tucked in tight. I'm moving my body, and my bow simply extends at the very, very end. All this is doing is transmitting the force I'm generating with my entire body. So, I, again, I want to be careful that I'm not doing something like that with it. Keep it tucked in. Move in, thrust. That's what we want here. Well, that is Ski Coming. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. We're going to be working with bow one step number four. Today, in our session, we are going to take this through from the beginning to the very end. Now, as part of this one step, we're seeing Jodan Uke, the high block. We are seeing Naname Uke, the side strike block. At the end, we are seeing Ski Kome, the two hand thrust. And then in Hidari no Kama, the right forward fighting stance, we'll simply be doing a shuffle step away to disengage, just moving ourselves out of reach. Now, the attack here. We're starting from Migi no Kamai, the left forward fighting stance. For the attack, we're going to do Uchotosh, the overhead strike, and then we're going to follow up Yaku Uchotosh, the reverse overhead strike. One more time, just up and over. One. And up and over, two, like that. Now our defense here, we are also working from Migi no Kamai, left side forward fighting stance. I'm shifting my left foot over to open up a little bit, striking up and through with Jodan Uke. I'm stepping away. My partner attacks again, striking up and through, Jodan Uke. 
Then I'm going to slide my left foot over, open the door. Naname, uke, side strike block. Then I'm pulling in, ski kome, aiming for the side of my partner's neck. And then I'm moving away. Let's walk through that together. Well, let's have a look at it from the side here. And I'm here. In Migi no Kamai. Shift. Jodan Uke. Step back. Jodan Uke. Then I open the door. Naname Uke. Pull in. Ski Kome. And then I'm just moving away at the end. Disengaging. Now, as we work with Naname, or rather, as we work with Ski Kome today, that thrust at the end, be very careful with that. You are aiming towards your partner's neck. Don't stick them in the neck with this. Treat it just like our work with the agility cone. Just aim for your target, but come up. A little bit short. Don't actually touch them with it. Just make sure you can reach if you have to. All right, let's have a look at it from the other side. Yeah, I'm here. Migi no Kamai. First attack comes in. Block. Second attack comes in. Step back and block. Open the door. Side strike block. Pull in. Thrust. And then move away. All right, Mr. Disselcon, if I could have your assistance with this, please. We're both starting from Migi no Kamai. Attack. Two. Now open the door. Down and through. Careful thrust toward the side of the hand. And then shuffle step away. When I'm going against my partner's bow with Jodan Uke, with Naname Uke, we can go pretty fast and pretty hard with that. I'm just striking his bow with my bow. Nobody's going to get hurt that way. At the very end, when I'm doing Ski Kome, that's not true. We're not striking bows together at that point. I'm aiming for the side of the neck, so I want to be very careful with that. I don't want to stick my partner in the neck. Let's go with it. Attack. Two. And then move away. Now. Work that a few times with your helper. It doesn't need to be real fast or real hard to begin with. Gradually build up. Take the time you need. Don't feel you have to rush. If it's going really well, you can try it without an attack command. Just have your partner move in and do those two overhead strikes because you're going to know what to expect. But don't try that. Don't try going no attack command on this until you've had a good warm up with it, good chance to practice with it where you're completely in control, you're calling the attacks. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for joining me. We will be working with the final section of your Bokata Shushi no Kon show together today. We'll start off, we'll review the first three sections of, of the kata, going through by the count, working with proper technique, power, and focus. We'll be focusing on the final section of this kata, which is pretty short. So let's begin. From Yoi.
One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Second section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the third section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, final section. We're going to start by naming the skills. Tate uke, vertical block. Ucho Tosh, overhead strike. Nagashi Ski, sliding thrust. Yoko Uke, inside to outside block. Yoi. Ready. That takes us to the very end of Shushi no Pong Show. So let's take it again by the count, a final section from our science strike, Yoko Uch. So we're in our horse stance, and this strike is about rib high. Then, look. One, two, three, four, Five. Then it comes right back under my arm. All right, let's try it again. From Yoko Uch, look. One, two, three, four, five. Back under my arm, if you notice. All right, let's have one more look at that section. Again, it's, again, it's nice and short, nice and simple. From my side strike, Yoko Uch. One, two, three, four, five. Now, let's take it one more time from the beginning all the way through to the end by the count. Proper technique, power, and focus. One. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. All right, that is Shushi no Kong Show all the way through from beginning to end by the count. Thank you for joining me.